Velasquez dealing some strikeouts today, Frank. A record number of strikeouts for the first two games for a Phillies. Velasquez was uh, 16 strikeouts today. Gives him 25 in two games. That's a franchise record. You're watch- you got a chance to see something special today, pal. Yes, he's absolutely dominant. He didn't walk a single batter and allowed just three hits. So a really dominant outing by Velasquez. You couple that with the game he had against the Mets there, and I think we talked about this on Tuesday, but you tweeted this out last week. This is the reason why the Phillies traded Ken Giles, and, you know, it looks like they found something. Not to say that you got a Cy Young Award winner or anything happening like crazy like that, but you could see they finally have that young electric arm, and couple that with Eikhoff. I think they got more, they've been getting more from Eikhoff than they thought when they got him in that Hamels deal. Yeah, it's definitely uh, the pitching rotation looks so much stronger. And I think in terms of uh, the Ken Giles uh, speak, you know, early in the season as the bullpen struggled, we heard a lot of why did the Phillies trade Ken Giles. Well, we see why the Phillies traded Ken Giles. You know, they were hoping to, to get Velasquez. He was their centerpiece to this deal. And when you throw him in a starting rotation with uh, young pitchers like Nola and, and uh, Eikhoff, certainly there's a lot for fans to get behind. Frank close with us. Frank, how much uh, before we make Vince Velasquez Cy Young, right? How much of this is the Padres not being that good, and how much of it is the Phillies' arms better than we thought? Well, there is there is an element of the Padres not being that good. And let's face it, they had uh, Melvin, formerly known as BJ Upton, batting cleanup today, and this is a guy you know that that struggled to hit 200 a couple of seasons ago. So, so yes, the, the Padres lineup is not the strongest, but uh, what we do see from Velasquez, you see uh, he, he was throwing upper 90s, great movement on his fastball, and he, he being hitters just look silly. So, I, you know, this was a uh, this was an on day for Velasquez. And pitching in the cold, it's a little chilly down here. Pitching in the cold does not seem to bother him because that's two straight starts in the, in the cold that were just absolutely dominant, which would hopefully will come in handy down the line when it's playoff time. Uh, I want to couple that with the story you wrote at 973ESPN.com, Frank, about Gene Mark Gomez, who, you know, has picked up a bunch of saves as well. You know, maybe that bullpen isn't as hideous as it once seemed to be. It looked like they, for now anyway, have some somebody stabilizing the ninth inning. Well, if you remember a while ago, I, I mentioned I didn't really like that the Phillies didn't name a closer going into the season. Even if they didn't think it was the ideal person, they should have named somebody because – uh, when the bullpen rolls are, are pretty certain, the, the pitchers come in a lot more relaxed and they, they, they know their role. And I think now that Gomez has been inserted into that role, it sort of settles everybody down. Uh, and Pete McCannon, in his uh, post-game press conference the other day, did uh, mention as such that finally the pitchers know their roles and everything just seems to fall in place when you do that. Yeah, David Hernandez now looks like in the eighth and Gomez in the ninth. We know Pete McCannon is talking now. Frank is live at Citizens Bank Park, so we will let you get to Pete uh, so you can get some more information on today's game because I'm sure some glowing comments coming from the skipper on today's pitcher. Uh, Vincent Velasquez picks up his second win. He has a Phillies record with 25 strikeouts in his first two starts. Frank Close at philadelphia.com part of sports talk philly and 973 espn.com great stuff frank thanks guys